Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. So for today, I'm going to be walking through just how to build a 60 attack pure. However, I will also be going through the questing of a 40 and 50 attack pure as well. The stats of this pure that I'm making are going to end up being 60 attack, 16 prayer, hopefully about 80 range and mid to high 60 strength with about 70 something HP, combat level 62 to 64. If you're going for a quested and completed 60 attack build, the skill requirements you're going to need are 56 agility for regicide, 30 range, 41 cooking, 10 fishing, 25 thieving, 20 fire making, 5 fletching, 36 wood cutting, 31 crafting, and 18 slayer. This is in order to do all the quests you need to do for Avas, Recipe for Disaster, Regicide, Underground Pass, and any other quest. Now I'm going to be listing all of the quest requirements in order to have a completed 60 attack build on the screen. Now if you wish to do a 40 or 50 attack build or even a no prayer build, I will be showing you the route to go right after this screen here. I do recommend pausing and taking a look at all of these quests. Now I did put roving elves in here because you can get the crystal bow from that quest, however I will not be completing that quest. The 40 attack quest list I have two different routes you can go. Basically route 1 is faster and route 2 allows you to have access to spirit trees through the tree gnome village quest. And if you do want prayer xp you can do mountain daughter to get 1k attack xp and 2k prayer xp which will get you to 13 prayer. If you're going for 31 prayer you can do mountain daughter, animal magnetism and those pre quests and then ghost ahoy. After that you can just train your prayer up to 31 using a Altar. If you're going for a 50 attack build, just do all of the attack quests you can. However, I do not recommend doing the underground pass, as the 3k XP reward is just not worth how annoying the quest is. Again, if you want prayer, you can do mountain daughter if you want attack XP also. However, if you want access to Canifus and you want to stay 13 prayer, you have to do only the priest and peril quest. The 40 and 50 attack skill requirements are listed on the screen here, so pause if you are going for that sort of build. But other than that, with that out of the way, we're going to get straight into the guide and some progress. For all of your questing needs, I highly recommend using Slayer Music 1's quest guides on YouTube. They're very easy to follow and very straightforward, so you should have no problems with questing. Now, the first quest you're going to want to complete is Gertrude's Cat, because when you get to that part of Recipe for Disaster with Evil Dave, you will already have your cat fully grown. The next thing you're going to want to do is make your way over to the Gnome Stronghold Agility course and get yourself 10 agility. Continue on to the Draenor Village Rooftop course and get yourself 20 agility. Afterwards, go to the Alcarid course and get yourself 30 agility. If you're not going to do Horror from the Deep, all you need is 25 agility in order to do the Grand Tree quest. After this, continue on to the Varrock course until you have 35 agility to do Horror from the Deep. If you plan on completing the Regicide quest, get yourself 29,324 agility XP and then you can finish questing your way to 40 agility through the Grand Tree quest. Continue by training your magic to level 35. I did 1 through 13 at the Lumbridge Cows and I did 13 through 35 at the Lesser Demon at the Wizard's Tower. You can train wherever you like, this is just where I chose to train. Also, this got me to about 23 HP. If you do wish to train your HP higher, that is definitely something that can be beneficial to you during your questing. I then decided to do the Plague City quest because this unlocks the Algernon teleport for me and it's just going to be much easier to get around while questing. After you have completed Plague City, do not forget to read the Magic Scroll. If you don't read this, you will not unlock the Algernon Teleport. If you're going for a 40 attack build, then you can choose one of the two routes mentioned earlier in this guide. I did Route 1 as its quickest, but Route 2 unlocks Spirit Trees. I started by doing the Waterfall quest because it gets you a quick 30 attack and strength and just some quick combat levels. Continue on to the Grand Tree quest. This will get you some more attack levels and get you level 40 agility, unlocking the Canifus Rooftop course for you. After you have the Grand Tree completed, continue to do the Restless Ghost quest and then the Priest and Peril quest in order to unlock Canifus and get yourself 15 prayer. Make sure you speak to Drezzle after you complete the Priest and Peril quest because you will not be able to get into Canifus if you do not talk to him first. If you decide to do Regicide and get 56 agility, I highly recommend you stay at the Canifus course, as the XP per hour is not much better at the Falador course and the Marks of Grace for the full graceful outfit are much better at the Canifus course and will be helpful with the Underground Pass and questing in general. When you go to buy your graceful outfit, Outfit, make sure you do some math and make sure that you won't have a large sum of marks of grace left over That way you can get the most pieces for the marks of grace you have now We're gonna be moving on to the part of the guide where you need to train your skills So you can do these any way you like it's probably better to quest them However, I just trained them through the actual skill now the levels you'll need are 31 crafting 25 thieving 5 fletching 10 fishing 20 fire making 41 cooking and 18 slayer as I said before you're more than welcome to train these in any order you like in any 
any way you like, such as questing or doing the actual skill themselves. If you are getting 16 prayer, make sure to get your XP while getting 20 ecto tokens for animal magnetism, and make sure that you do not bury any bones. The last skill requirement you're gonna need is 36 woodcutting, and I managed to get a beaver pet at 34 woodcutting while training. That was pretty insane, and yes, I did ensure for those of you wondering. Now let's move back into some questing and finish that up. You're gonna wanna do the death plateau quest here. After doing the grand tree and the waterfall, this will get you right to 40 attack, and the easiest way to get to 40 attack. Next, just gather the ingredients for Cook's Assistant and to start Recipe for Disaster and then complete those quests. We're now gonna continue on to complete all of the pre-quests and requirements for Recipe for Disaster to get our Mithril Gloves unlocked. First quest we're gonna do is the Fishing Contest. Next, complete Goblin Diplomacy. Continue on to do the Demon Slayer quest and then complete the Golem quest. After those quests, make sure you do Shadow of the Storm and when you get to choose your Combat XP, make sure you choose Range. This will get you an easy 27 range levels and save you a lot of time. Next, get yourself to 30 range for animal magnetism in the big chompy bird hunting quest. Optionally, you can do the dwarf cannon quest for no hit points ranged XP training, and then monkey madness, which I didn't put in, because by the time you're gonna use a D-Sim and melee PK, you're probably gonna be much higher level. Next, continue on to complete the big chompy bird hunting quest. After you have all the skill and quest requirements you need for recipe for disaster, you can go ahead and free some of the people, and you're gonna need to free Evil Dave, the Goblin Generals, Scratch, the Dwarf, and Pirate Pete. And once you have freed all of them, you're gonna be able to unlock your mithril gloves and have that out of the way. If you want a Avis device, the only other quest you're gonna need to do are Ernest the Chicken and Animal Magnetism. If you're going for a 50 attack build, the only other quests you need to do are the Fight Arena, the Tree Gnome Village, and Vampire Slayer. Optionally, you can do the Biohazard quest in order to unlock the Caged Ogres just south of the Gnome Stronghold. You can do Mountain Daughter if you don't mind any prayer XP, and you can do the Underground Pass if you don't mind any pain and suffering. Also, if you want to get a God Book to make your training a bit quicker and to even use for PKing, then definitely do Horror from the Deep. If you plan on completing Regicide, continue to complete the Biohazard quest. Continue on to do the Underground Pass, and I highly recommend you guys train your hit points up a little and bring an alt when you get to the big spider. I had a very hard time, and I should have died literally like seven times, but I somehow didn't, and I did not lose my pet. After the Underground Pass, just move on to Regicide and complete that, and honestly, don't even bother boosting from 51, just get 56 agility. It's much easier that way, and yeah, I did this at 34 combat, so I think that's actually pretty impressive. Move on to the final quest, which is going to be Lost City. This allows you to use a Dragon Longsword and Dragon Dagger. However, if you do wish to use a Dragon Scimitar, you can do Monkey Madness, and if you do want a Crystal Bow, you can go ahead and do Rolling Elves. Going to hands and checking just how long it took us to complete this account from when we created it, it only took us about 5 hours per day. So that's really not bad, I mean, this is something you guys could hop on for a couple, few hours a day, and you can knock this kind of account out pretty quickly. Well, this is it, guys. This is the end product. 36.7 combat, 30 HP, 46 attack, 37 strength, 34 range, 16 prayer, and 40 magic. This guide is not by any means an efficient guide. It's just a simple walkthrough on how I got to my particular build. And if you were going for a 40 or 50 attack build, I do hope this uh, helped you guys as well. The goal for this account now is 52 combat with 58 hit points, 60 attack, 50 strength, 72 range, and 16 prayer. With those stats, we're just going to be experimenting with this account and just trying to have some fun overall. That's why I made it. So with that being said, you guys are awesome if you've made it this far. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see the kinds of accounts you guys will make. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.